Hello my friends, how are you doing? It is time for the Sunset Magic Pack and of course a tutorial on how to take amazing sunset photos and edit them in Affinity Photo. Here is a little teaser for you. Boom! <music> And we're back in Affinity Photo. Today it's everything about sunsets, also sunrises by the way. You can use the pack on that too. And to talk a little bit about the pack, as you can see here, it includes 60 different gradients that you can apply that are sampled from beautiful sunset pictures. So you can put all these kind of emotions, these colors into the pictures. And to look at the picture, you can see here, this is the original picture and this is the gradient on there. And when I click around here, you can see how easy with just one click, I can create all of these different kind of color settings of emotions, of expressions for the picture. Now the cool thing also is the pack includes, even the free pack includes a 30 minute online course that shows you in more detail how to take the picture, how to set them up with the basic adjustments and then how to apply the gradients to have the maximal use for this pack. But of course in this video also I'm going to show you a tutorial that gives you some of that information. More of that information of course is in the online course. All right. so. First of all, we want to talk about how to take these pictures because this is pretty important because the better the picture is, the better the editing will look afterwards. All right. And this is a very good example here because what you can see here is this is the original picture without the gradient. The sun is in the middle between these different branches of the tree. So that's very specific. And you might think, well, that is pretty hard to do. How do you set that up? That seems really complicated. Well, I have a tool for you that makes it super easy so everybody can do that. Let's switch over here. And this is the Google Play Store. I think this app is also available for the iPhone or the iPad or tablets. Uh, so you can check that out. It's called Photo Pills. This is a paid app. There's also free apps that do the same thing, but I found that this app has a very clean design that's easy to understand. So this is what I'm suggesting to you today, but you can use everything you want for that. So let's have a look at the functions here real quick. So the first thing I just pointed out with the sun position is that you have an AR overlay. AR means augmented reality. So this means that this will show you where the sun will be at a certain time on the sky when you just hold up your phone and you can move the time around with your finger to see where the sun will be in three hours from now or the moon by the way is also being tracked or like in five weeks or in half a year or something you can look where the sun will be and then come to that point and have everything prepared before that. There's other functions here with a satellite map that gives you a lot of information and also you can track stars and also it has all these charts in there. This is really nice because as you can see here these charts give you information about exposure, depth of field, hyperfocal, field of view, time lapse, spot stars. For example, here you can see if you want to create these amazing star trail pictures, if you always wondered how is that done? Well, this app shows you exactly the time of exposure and where to point your camera to get these amazing effects. So it makes it super simple. And these charts, for example, for exposure or hyper hyperfocal effect, which I also will do a video on in short, um, is based on your camera, on your lens, on your ISO setting so that it is precisely for your equipment and not just a general chart. That's pretty uh, important. Here you have a tablet view of the same thing. And if you look down here, I'm not sure if you can read that, it says blue hour in the morning, in the evening, exactly down to the minute and also the golden hour. So you can be at the most amazing places uh, that you visit and make the photos at the right time to get the right effect. The app even tells you how long the shadows will be and where you need to stand uh, to have the best sunlight and the best sun and moon position. So that is pretty nice and makes photographing really, really easy. Okay, let's switch back over into Affinity Photo where we want to talk about how to apply these effects to have a really cool effect. So as I said, 
what I have created for you are gradients. The pro version has 60 of them. They are sampled from beautiful sunset pictures with all these kind of color atmospheres in there. And this is something I want to tell you about. A sunset and the colors in there, let's turn this on real quick, is about emotion it's about expression it's about artistic feeling so the colors that are in there they are like the melody of the picture that really give you the setup the story how you want to feel and it really transforms also the landscape and how the image looks to you and how light how strong how intense it can feel or not so you can really master this play around with that be very expressive and this is a really important thing here of course if you take the photo you are only given one kind of light there that you can capture with your camera but maybe you want to express something else with your picture and now if you have these 60 different gradients you can see here i have set this up for me and now I can just click through these and see what kind of feeling do I want to have here. And this really depends on what you want to do with the picture. Don't only think about, okay, this is one picture. Think about it as a universe of pictures, basically, that you can use for all kinds of occasion, you know. Uh, for example, in advertisement or for web design or for flyers or for a lot of different other reasons. For example, there is this kind of rule when you do advertisement, when you do flyers, when you do design. In winter, you want to use warm colors. In the summer, you want to use cool colors. You can use that with a sunset. If you make a flyer in winter, you probably want to have more of a warm color. And in the summer, you maybe want to have more of a cool color so it looks a little bit more relaxed and you don't feel like oh it's hot and sweaty um it feels relaxing and cool you know so these things also can play into the consideration and of course give your images a lot more expression and purpose all right so let's look at how to use that actually with our image let's um for example use this setting here and here is two things i want to suggest to you when you use a gradient and by the way I have set up a rectangle here, so rectangle tool and drag this out all over the picture and then apply the gradient to that and you set the blend mode to soft light. And like I said, there is a 30 minute course included that shows you everything in detail uh, what I'm talking about here. Now, two things, if you already have prepared your image to look good and then apply the gradient to that is I would suggest that you put adjustment for curves between your rectangle with the gradient and your source image the reason for that is when it's here in between as you know layers influence what is below them so we want to influence the source image not the gradient itself with this adjustment you can see now here of course if I pull this up everything is getting lighter but also the colors are getting light that have these kind of lovely very soft kind of flowy dreamy feeling you know and if you pull that down the colors get darker and because of the soft light blend mode also the colors get more intense so you have this really intense passionate sunset sunrise it's really uh, a lot of emotion in there you know and because it's curves, what you can also do is you can say, I want to have the dark areas dark as you get this bloody sunrise, sunset, and then I want to have the light areas lighter. So at the same time, you have this deep, emotional, bloody sunset, and then you have this beautiful opening light sky over there. It's kind of the new dawn or something like that. You know, this kind of opening up emotion, lighter emotion in there. So you can really, really shape the sunset in any kind of way you want. You don't have to go very intense. You can also do just very slight adjustments here to get the effect you want, to get the look you want. Okay, and another thing I want to show you here is you make a second adjustment so go here to adjustments and this time we're going to go to color balance and color balance is I call it my color seasoning basically you click on that you want to set this on top of the layers because this time we want to affect the photo and the gradient at the same time so the end result the output of our editing I will keep this at midtones because most of these values that we want to influence here with the sunset are midtones and what you do here is 
you move these sliders around and you adjust, you fine tune the colors. You can see here, I get more blue in here, I get more red in here. I can get more green in here, I can get more magenta in here. You can see how this influences it, more blue. And of course, these mix the colors, these balance the colors. So you can see if I go more to yellow, I have this nice warm orange tone. I really like, oh, it looks really good. So it's kind of dreamy feeling. And then you go to the other side and you have this more pink violet expression. And that also has this more, this is more like romantic, I would say, more like this passionate, a soft feeling of a romantic morning or romantic sunset, really nice. You can uh, you can kind of hear the birds singing in the background, some music playing, you have a glass of wine and sit there and look at the sunset, this kind of feeling. Uh, so you can shape that. And this is the amazing thing about photo editing. You can really precisely fine tune it to the feeling you want to have. And sunsets are a perfect example for that, especially if you learn about how to use colors in pictures. This pack and the online course and the things you can do with that gives you a really great access to play around with colors and see how do they influence that. Because in this case, the whole landscape, the whole sky is filled with color and you can by fine tuning see how does this change the image? How does it change my relation, my feeling towards the image? And what kind of expression do I get when I look at it? What kind of, you know, how, what kind of relation does this create between me and the image? But also another thing you have to keep in mind is how this changes the landscape. Does it tighten it up? Does it open it up? There's a lot of different possibilities here. We can look at another picture that we have back here, for example. And in this case, I have turned, and this is another thing that's really important here, especially also about the pack. It has in the pro version 60 gradients, but you can change these gradients when you click up here on the fill, up here, fill, you click on that, you get all these settings where you can turn it from linear into elliptical or radial. And you can also reverse it. So suddenly you have not only doubled the number of gradients, but you have like just multiplied it into hundreds of different gradients. And um, by making it an elliptical gradient, this means now if I click here on the gradient tool, I have these arms that I can move around. You can see I can now have this just in the center or I can spread it out to the sides and I can decide on the height of it. Is it just very small? Is it going to be very uh, wide? And now look at this. I have this picture here, and now if I click again up here on that, and I reverse this, you can see that now the center is darker and the surrounding is brighter, and this opens up the landscape. It makes it really white. It makes it coming towards you and you are kind of surrounded suddenly by the landscape. And when I reverse it the other way around where the middle is bright, but the outsides are darker and bluer and cooler, you're getting sucked into the landscape. At the same time, the landscape is more compressed. It feels smaller. It also feels more intimate. So think about that and the language of pictures and the expression of colors. And this is a really great starting point to learn about these different things. Um, so that is really, really nice um, to have. Uh, by the way, like I said, uh, watch the online course. I have a lot more information in there where I talk about all these kind of details, but you can see that you can get really cool, quick effects and then also switch between them really quickly. I'm on the wrong layer here. There we go. Switch around, play around, have all these kind of expressions, emotions in your image and just turn a sunset into a thousand different things. And it just... It's just fun to play with that. Okay, <laughs> that was my tutorial for today. I hope you enjoyed that. Please download the pack, even in the free version, check out the online course that's included. The online course is in the PDF. And one thing also I wanna point out, you have to select the pack first, then enter the price into the name affair prize field, and then click on, I want this, because otherwise you might pay for the pro pack, but get the free version. If that happens, please immediately send me an email and I will send you a free link to the pro version so you can still download it. Um, yeah, 
Okay, thank you very much. Have a lot of fun with it and see you in my next video or maybe also my Facebook group. Have a nice day. Bye.